What's up, everyone? So uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, and in part it is just uh, one of my messages, and in part it's a throwback um, story, so bear with me. Um, I don't know Chris Cornell all that well, his music and his body of work. I do know a few songs, but uh, unfortunately for a lot of my friends, they're grieving because uh, they really followed his music. Um, it's unfortunate that he... Uh, chose suicide as far as the reports I'm seeing are, are coming out and it's unfortunate that in part it'll be part of his his legacy. Uh, I can remember when Amy Winehouse died, even Whitney Houston of overdoses and there was a lot of very mean-spirited uh, sort of comments being glad that the skanks or the junkies were gone, things like that. These are um, very tough uh, times for people and when they get that far gone whether they OD or commit suicide they're not in the state of mind that you or I might be in which is a little bit more uh, more clear so let's keep that in mind before we rush to a judgment uh, even going further back in another form of death uh, I can recall when Tupac died and there was a very popular morning DJ in the Phoenix area at the time and he announced uh, Tupac's death, and then in his dumbest mocking voice, he started singing uh, See You at the Crossroads by Bone Thugs and Harmony. And it just hit me the wrong way, so I called the radio station. And the radio station uh, powers that be must have been on my side because there was no busy signal, and they picked up within two rings. So it was meant for me to get this message through. And on the air, I chastised him uh, thoroughly for making a mockery not only of someone's death when there are survivors out there who have to deal with this, but not only that, but you profit off of his music and your responsibility to broadcast this sort of uh, sentiment over a large platform is just reckless. And uh, his co-host uh, stepped in and said something. I said, look, I'm not talking to you. And they got quiet. And I went, I went further on with it. And... At the end of it all, he thought he was funny, and he said, so do you still love me? But by this point, I had already hung up, so I'm walking out of the office. I was at work when I did this. I could hear it on my headphones when he said, do you still love me? And it went straight to dial tone. It was beautiful. Uh, but I digress. We can't uh, just judge people for the decisions they make. Um, we we don't walk in their shoes. We don't know uh, what they have gone through. Um, you, by all means, have the opinion to call them selfish and cowards and all this and that. But again, you have to treat these things like a mental illness and not treat them like, but see that they are. Addiction um, of any sort, depression, we just don't know what, what people are going through at times. So before we have a snap judgment or a stupid comment or um, mean to be funny sort of meme, Let's uh, think longer and harder with the decisions that we're making because it does affect other people. Um, maybe not the survivors of these people's families, but people who really followed them for their music or their inspiration, what have you. And a tragic ending is uh, does not mean it gives us the green light to dogpile. So guys, um, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I hope this hits everybody in a way that is worthy of... Uh, giving you cause to think and possibly passing the message on for uh, for the next time and hopefully there's just fewer and fewer each time but we as a society need to wake up and start seeing that mental illness uh, exists in a lot of ways shapes and forms uh, the same way we've evolved with uh, things in terms of gender race uh, the LGB community uh, uh, religions, all these sort of things. We've come a long ways, but we still have a long ways to go. But it starts with each one of us. We can't wait for uh, the powers that be or higher sources to uh, to make us better people. So you guys, again, have a wonderful evening. And as always, peace, love, unity, solidarity.